what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're talking about the strangers in this video here today never got to talk about this franchise on this channel till now because word came out today from bloody disgusting that apparently three new stranger movies three new entries are going to be shot next month supposedly according to Ro roy lee who i believe discovered the original screenplay for that first movie and he's a well-known producer for a lot of recent horror movies he was on the boo crew podcast and he just shared these uh details about these about these upcoming stranger sequels i'll call them for now because it could be prequels so he said this i think the next three are in production next month with another filmmaker that people will know and he apparently didn't say anything else besides that but the most interesting thing there is again just how i i called this i was in a group chat talking about this when this came to me this is the most random horror news we got today but also the most exciting for me because i love those first two movies while admittedly yes the strangers pray at night is not as dark as what the original was and i will give the original the the advantage over its sequel those movies are still some of the best home invasion movies a pair of home invasion movies i've seen in recent memory the aspect of what they could do with new iterations or new sequels or prequels i'm intrigued about that and the fact that they're shooting back to back apparently tells me that they're trying to go for something like what fear street did what or what netflix did with fear street so i'm excited to see what ends up happening and, and what comes of this this recent bombshell that just came this morning because the characters that we know we had these three strangers doll face i believe is one baghead and i think the other one is pinup girl it's been a while since i watched those two movies the original movie i recall just being very terrifying especially at the time when it came out i was like maybe going on 10 i just had turned 10 and i was very disgruntled at how long it took us to get that new sequel that we got and even though it wasn't what i hoped it would be i loved how it was kind of like a love letter to a lot of 80s slasher movies and it still was very fun bailey madison was another great highlight there and i would love to see her return if they were to do you know straight up straight up sequels to pray at night in the original movie i've seen people even clamoring for Liv tyler to return and team up with bailey madison two final girls that are that i guess you could say are alive the only two i know for certain are alive going off of how the pray at night movie in it is kenzie and luke the two siblings as far as Liv's character Liv tyler's character from that original movie I again it's been a while I believe that one ended on like a cliffhanger of her screaming or something so I don't know if she's alive I, I recall at the time after that when there was talks of the sequel she was supposed to have like a cameo at the start of it but those plans completely changed and we didn't get anything like that that had to do with her I think the Pray at Night movie is set 10 years after the events of that original movie that original movie though is just one of the best home invasion horror movies in recent memory it's just a overall great horror movie in general i would say in terms of just how random all of that the the randomness of it all still to this day i think is what is the most terrifying aspect of it and then especially that iconic line people hone in on when they ask them why they just say because you were home that that's literally terrifying now how it's said isn't what is terrifying it is the sentiment alone in the the sheer fact that oh that's 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 why like that's that's insane that's that's sick <laughs> because they were home um the performances in the movie tremendous um uh, and again there's just a lot of constant dread that's building and unease and it's taking place at this vacation home and then the sequel is at like a trailer park i believe again that was more of a straight up love letter to 80 slasher movies and that one i would say is a lot more fun in in certain ways but i do appreciate that slow slow burning feel from that original movie and how it gets under your skin and just kind of sets this tone and set this atmosphere of something terrible is about to happen before it happens and it, it slowly just peeling off these layers of this horrific event that's about to unfold on your screen and you toss that in with two amazing lead performances it's it's a horrific experience to witness pray at night again while it was a downgrade still a very fun sequel i know there are some people who who will trash pray at night I, I love that movie <laughs> so again the movie itself has a lot of memorable moments the pool scene in particular is also another highlight from pray at night bailey madison again and from what i have seen i don't know where they could go in 
in like a in a third movie only because pray at night i believe ended with something alluding to maybe the bad kid guy had survived but it was never confirmed i think there was an alternate ending shot where they actually showed that he survived all that damage he he would he withstood prior to his ultimate reveal to be alive and he took out one of the doctors at the hospital in kenzie's room so if they go the route of saying hey he actually survived i mean are they going to throw in a supernatural element then at that point because i know a lot of people find it hard to believe that he's alive but whatever but also at the same time would it be better for them to just then do a prequel showing us the same three strangers and what was going on with them in between the 10-year gap from the first movie to pray at night because if they bring baghead back in a third fourth fifth movie i'm assuming he would have two replacements to fill in for Dollface and pinup girl uh, and i would love to see bailey madison's character return see her her and her brother back and see what they are up to all these years later bailey madison currently to my knowledge she is maybe cleared up uh, I know she has that hit series going on right now. I'll call I'll call it a hit series because it's been trending on Twitter. <laughs> Pretty Little Liars Original Sin. I know a lot of you watch my recap videos and you've been seeing my reviews about that. She's been killing it on that show. So I would love to see her return to the Stranger series and catch up with that character. So as far as a team up with Liv Tyler, chances of that happening are very slim as of right now. Uh, I do i would love to see something like that but i think you have a better chance of them fo following up with bailey madison's character of kenzie and her brother luke than getting Liv tyler back at this stage but honestly what they could do is just offer you a new trilogy where it's just a bunch of standalone movies telling telling individual stories they could all be prequels or again they could go a route of saying baghead did indeed survive and he got two replacements for pinup girl and dollface that's fine now honestly i don't think that these new movies are going to be anything like the original i think they're going to be more in line with pray at night and that's fine because that movie again is a lot of fun let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and in this video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video